YouTube, what is up, man? You already know who it is today, man. Coming to you guys bright and early on the day I thought I wouldn't be working, but I'm actually working today. It's crazy. But you know, man, before we get into this video, smash that like button, man. That subscribe button and comment for me, man, for my YouTube algorithm. You guys know I greatly appreciate it. But today is my last day of the first week. So, you know, it's actually a holiday. My recruiter actually told me when I was coming here that I wouldn't be working this day. So I said that to say, um, be mindful and be careful when you're looking at these jobs and stuff like this. Because sometimes they will lie to you just to get you, you know, in a job, at the job. Just get you recruited onto the company and stuff like that. Now, I don't mind working today because like I told you guys before, man, I'm trusting the process, man. I'm grinding, man. I'm doing shit I really don't want to do, man, so I can be a better business owner know the game better and be better successful within my business so i'm gonna you know show you guys all about today man give you guys a recap of this whole entire first week man let you guys know how it is man come to you all with real information real raw information as i continue to learn and as i continue to go on and stuff like that because you know i noticed that a lot of people or some people on youtube you know they didn't have to go to a big company to learn or and stuff like that. They kind of went with their father first or their mother or just, you know, a family member. And they learned that way. So a lot of times, man, we do a lot of things differently. You know, if it was somebody else, they just graduated city of school and they came to work for their father or somebody like that. They would already be on the road driving and stuff like that, man. They wouldn't be spending a lot of time in the classroom and stuff like that. Or just, you know, still going through some things that you learned in city of school. So like I told you guys before, man. A lot of this stuff is like a repeat sometimes of like the stuff you already learned. But like I said before, guys, I got to get to work, man. It's bright and early, man. I'm going to tune back in later. So you guys just give you guys a whole recap of this week, man. So, you know, I'm tired, man. I'm early, man. But this is the stuff we have to do, man. We want to be successful, man. We can't cry over the work that we put in. We got to put that shit in and just take that shit on the chin and just apply it, man. Everything is for our process, man. You have to trust the process, man. Got it. And I'm building my business brick by brick, bro. I don't want no shortcuts, man. I'm going to learn the game and then play the game better than everybody else, man. So I'll see you guys, man. Man, what's up, my Esquire family? I'm really out here freezing my ass off. I'm probably not supposed to be recording right now, man. But I got to give you guys a live footage, man. I don't give a fuck, man. So before we get into this video, please subscribe like and comment for me man for my youtube algorithm man but right now bro we're in the yard right now it's fucking freezing i got these gloves on them bitches not doing shit at all <laughs> but yeah bro so right now you're like like i told you guys before one of the videos i don't know if i have yet but i'm learning how to couple and uncouple and stuff like that i'm learning how to park my trailer and my tractor into these tight spots that you, that you may see on the yard or something like that or that you may see when you're actually going to um drop a load off or I drop a load off in the yard it's filled and stuff like that bro so it's pretty cool right now man I'm out the classroom right now so it's pretty good to just be out here on the actual yard again man I feel like I'm back in CDO school man but back on the yard again like I say learning my parking maneuvers bro learning how to couple and uncouple learning how to get these trailers into these tight spots man when there's other trailers all around and stuff like that bro so it's pretty cool I'm actually by a trailer right now man but you know, I can't show you guys everything, man. I don't wanna I don't want them people tripping on me, nothing like that, man. But hey man, it's all good, bro. Like I said before, man, I'm out here grinding, man. And this shit is gonna pay off, bro. I'm not a driver, but I am a s I'm 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 an investor, I'm a businessman, and I want my eyes to be in my favor, bro. So if I learn every single part of the game that I possibly can in, I know my eyes are gonna be in my favor. And I know when it comes to 2022. I man, S car is gonna go to the fucking road. We're gonna blow to the road, and we're gonna run our company the right fucking way. I'm not gonna run my company like you no know, janky deck bullshit shit. It's gonna be new equipment, man. Good policy, man, and just good safety, man. So I see you guys, man. I don't wanna get in trouble, man. They already kind of been tripping on me a little bit, man. Hating on the young brother, say like, no, but <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys though, man. Uh, so guys, let me get a quick video in for you guys before they hop on my ass. I'll be the first to tell you, man, that most of our parking maneuvers that we're going to do is going to be at a 45-degree angle, bro. 
It's not going to be any 90 degrees like that that much. It's going to be 45, and you're going to have, like, a little tighter space and shit like that, bro. So, like, you're not going to be able to pull up as much and have as much space if you had a lot of space in CDO school in your yard and stuff like that. Like, they want to get you used to actually parking the trailer in, like, an actual unit in the actual truck and shit like that, man. So, I'm probably going to get off this phone soon, man, just so I can, you know, get back to everything, but I don't want to get in trouble how they ass dick sucking just on some good shit. But whatever, man. But like I told you guys, I got to get the video for you guys. What's up, guys? So, I'm here actually in class right now. <sighs> Kicking it. I think I'm going to be getting out here early today since it's Christmas Eve. But, learned a little bit of this today. My Atlas. Stuff like that, man. Just learning the maps and stuff like that. In case my electronic log device ever went down, I could use it too. You know, just still get around and stuff like that. So, very vital print information, man. Happy I'm learning it, but like I said, man, this corporate stuff, man, big company stuff, it has its perks, but it has its disadvantages too. But, you know, like I said, man, I'm in class right now, man, just getting it done, man, grinding, man. It's actually my law book right now. So, <laughs> it's cool, man. Give you guys a recap of this whole week. What's up, YouTube? What's up, my Esquire family, man? Like I promised you guys, bro. I just want to give you guys a recap of the whole week and stuff like that. I apologize for my voice and being in the bed a little bit. Like I told you guys before, man, I was in a fucking cold, freezing, man. I wasn't prepared for that weather, bro. COVID been running, rapping and stuff like that. I got rain on and stuff like that, man. I was drenched on. I had the right clothes for that shit, so just a little bit, you know. Feeling a little bit under the weather a little bit. But that's not going to stop me from coming to you guys and give you guys what I promise. So, man, I know in the videos, man, as you guys can all see that I talked about a big company having these perks, having these disadvantages other than, like, going to a company. I mean, rather than going to a company that's, like, smaller or, like, it's your father or your mother or auntie or someone like that who runs the company. And the reason why I said that is because you have to imagine if you were to go to a smaller company – it would be more hands-on. It would be pretty much one-on-one -on -one training. It's you and your fathers, you and your mothers, you and your auntie or something like that, or uncle. And it's a little more personal and stuff like that, man. So you have big companies and stuff like that too, man. You know, a lot of times, man, we have to watch a lot of videos and stuff like I told you guys before, man. I watch so many uh, there's modules and stuff like that on the computer and stuff, how to drive and, you know, certain weather conditions and stuff like that how to actually use my atlas and i think you know my atlas is pretty much like i told you guys before it's the book i showed you guys it's like a big book or like a map or stuff like that but every state and every city in the united states and stuff like that even canada and mexico so it's like in case your eod book goes down you know how to read the atlas and you can write your routes and just remember where you have to go in case everything goes down because we all know a lot of times we can't just rely on you know electronic devices because they will crash and they can't go down and get hacked and stuff like that. Like I told you guys before, also man, another perk would be working at a smaller company. This it wouldn't be like you're going through CDL school again and stuff like that, man. Because like you know I have to learn certain stuff. Like even though I already noticed because I had a great teacher and a great mentor, but I had to I have to learn my in cab inspection again, my air brakes test. Which I already know have to do my pre-trip again and stuff like that. But I like it and I appreciate it because it's all vital information and it's, you can never stop learning, guys. Like, you never know everything, man, especially in this business, man. If you're in this business, you feel like you know everything, man, you just need to get the fuck out of it. Because clearly, man, like, you're, you're just, you're delusional, man, and you just, you should never stop learning, bro. So that's another thing, man. And you guys can ask me, like, hey, why did I go to a big company Instead of going to like try to find a smaller company and stuff like that, a lot of times with these smaller companies, I'm just be honest with you, man. The equipment is ass. They may have you running like a dog all week, and never even pay you. At the end of the week, it's some BS, or they don't pay what they say they're going to pay you and stuff like that. And a lot of you truckers who've already went through this and stuff like that, you guys can attest to what I'm speaking of, and you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know it's true. So, let's go on through. A bigger company and stuff like that. Then, like I said before, I have a mentor, man. And I really look up to him and I appreciate, like, a lot of stuff he says. And I take his information to be very vital because I'm watching him. And he's successful in the business. So, if my mentor told me to go to 
joining these big companies and stuff like that. So I can really learn the game better and just know the safety precautions, how to, what to actually do in a row, what not to do in a row and stuff like that. I'm going to get close to him and I'm going to listen. It would be foolish of me not to listen. That's in any business that you're in, man. You should get close to somebody who's doing the things that you want to do. You just copy and paste. And you then put it into your business. If it's real estate, if it's trucking, if it's construction, if it's in, if it's Airbnb, if it's anything like that, man. You, you latch on to a person who's successful. You don't go to a person whose portfolio doesn't speak for herself. You go to somebody whose proof is in the pudding. You understand. You say, hey, don't recreate the wheel. How can I learn and what can I do to get in the position that you're in and to be living the life that you're living? So that's exactly what I did. So that's what I tell you guys before, man. Like, it's a lot of shit that I'm going to do that I actually don't want to do, but that's okay, man, because at the end of the day, bro, I'm a fucking dog, man. Like, I'm going to be successful, man. It's just no question about it, man, because I'm going to put the legwork in and I'm not going to complain about it. If I got to go through stuff through the company and stuff like that, I don't care, man, because it's all for the brand. It's all for the business. So just want to give you guys a recap on that a little bit, man. I want to talk about it more next week, man, but... Like I said, man, I love you guys. Be blessed, man. And please subscribe, like, and comment, man, for my YouTube algorithm, man. Smash that shit for me, guys.